It's the 30th anniversary of The Terminator, the action classic launched James Cameron's and Arnold Schwarzenegger's careers and spawned countless imitations. But it could have been drastically different. Is this right? Hard to picture anyone but Arnie as the T-800. Producers wanted O.J. Simpson as the Terminator. Cameron argued he wasn't right for the role because his persona was too nice. Here are James Cameron's original sketches for the character depicting Lance Henriksen as the relentless robot. Henriksen ended up playing a detective in the film and went on to play a cyborg in Cameron's Aliens. Schwarzenegger actually wanted to play Kyle Reese, a role that Sting was considered for, but it ultimately went to Michael Bean, who had curiously auditioned for the role with a southern accent. I was just fooling about. So let's be happy we didn't end up watching Juice chase around the lead singer of the police. Don't stand so close to me, OJ. The original script really played up the burgeoning romance between Reese and Sarah Connor, but many of those scenes were ultimately cut out, including this heartwarming domestic scene where Sarah daydreams about their future together while making pipe bombs. Aww. Disneyland, the beach, movies. Finally, is there really a Terminator without this? I'll be back. In the shooting script, the line was written as, I'll come back. And Schwarzenegger didn't even want to say it because he had difficulty pronouncing the word "I'll." He begged Cameron to take it out, but thankfully the director stood his ground. Cameron went on to become king of the world, Arnie the governor of California. Let's be thankful the film turned out as is, and at age 30 is still one of the greatest sci-fi films of all time. Yahoo!